the point at which we cry, enough is enough, because the fast growth of diversity seems to be out of sync with the slow development of resilience. Resilience occurs at Lenin's time, time for people like us to hang out with people like us to develop bonds of belonging. No newcomers, just time and togetherness. That's the rule. Really? Well, I was a newcomer in Paris on 13th November 2015 when gunshots filled the air. Thunderstorm, powder storm, devilish skies. Blood stained the streets like a Pollock painting. The death toll was rising, 61, 62, 63. But brothers and sisters were running out on the street with nowhere to go, no metro, no Uber, absolutely nowhere, pure terror. Until a friend of mine established the hashtag Porte Verte, connecting people who were in dire need of shelter with those who were able to provide it. That was a game changer. Victims were embraced by complete strangers on their doorsteps. 500,000 tweets were used on this topic in just one hour because in the moment of greatest horror, there were open doors and open minds to overcome the divisions. In the following days, the city's social fabric, the tissue, was being woven in front of my eyes. The nationalist Corsican waiter was handing out free coffee to the people who wanted comfort. The cold Russian teacher cried with us in class. And the foreign victims of other attacks, people who had survived 9-11, who had been there for the London bombings, the, Par the Madrid explosions, they all went to the Vatican to say that they were there, that they were there for the French population. So foreigners, foes, and forgotten friends help France rise like a phoenix from the ashes. Did it take a lot of time? I don't think so. The greatest friendship is unexpected friendship, spontaneous, immediate. Suddenly we're all in this together, in this boat, in this great city that is shaken but does not die. So let's harvest that potential for resilience that is always there and steer the ship in the right direction. Thank you.